Okay, it's settled. I'm going to do an Echelon vlog. Um, I've done these in the past with other channels with some decent success, but I'm going to do this with a point. And um, I think it would be a good fit. I think it would work as long as I'm focused. Um, and yeah, I'll explain it in a second. Okay, so I think it's very important to explain something about why I'm doing this. But first, let me set this down. So why vlog? Well, it's got some uses actually, and bear in mind that when I talk about this stuff, I'm gonna focus primarily on how you can use it um, for business, but it applies to everything. And really it applies to this idea of personal branding. See, in an inescapably hyper-consumerist world, it's easy to think that vlogging is just sort of this self-edifying thing where you're indulging your own thoughts and your ideas and all that stuff because, well, people do. But the thing is, there's something very useful about vlogs, much in the same way that podcasts are valuable when it comes to your business. And it's, it really boils down to long form content. And a lot of it actually has to do with human behavior, believe it or not. As much as we like to think that this whole hyper consumerist, um, very image driven world is kind of ruining everything, it's very much in line with um, Interestingly, human behavior. So I've actually got to get going and get things ready because I'm headed up north a little ways to um, just get some stock footage because I'm going to use that to try and make a little more money for Echelon Media. So um, let me take you along. But first, let me pack my stuff. <music> So it took a little while to get here, but finally here, and the ocean is going nuts right now. There's like legit waves on the west coast of Florida. Um, sorry if you can't hear me. It's like super windy right now, but it's kind of sick. Yeah. Well, I'm going to sit this down and kind of talk over some points about why it's actually beneficial to do vlogging for a something silly whatever you do do not try this at home sorry you probably can't hear me all that well because of the wind and stuff I mean, whatever you do do not try this at home so here's the view like I said do not try this at home that's only a little bit sketchy Whoa. okay we're bringing it back we'll go back in and we'll go over why Vlog, if you can make it work, it's actually great branding. Ah, sweet. Okay, okay, okay. So I have to retake this. And it's a little bit tricky because I have sort of an audience behind the camera, but I'm just going to roll with it. Um, so here we are in Beer Can Island. I hope you've enjoyed some of the nice B roll footage. I did that as a bit of a filler to kind of prove the point that. There's a bit of an art when it comes to vlogging. It's not just like you can just pop on the camera and just have the con like, like follow yourself around with the camera all day because unless anyone is invested in what you have to say, no one's really going to care. And that's sort of the challenge here is that when it comes to actually vlogging, um, I think at the very beginning of YouTube, it was a very big thing and a lot of people thought it was really, really arrogant and self-serving and very self-centered feeling. But the thing about it is, if you think about it in the context of creating a personal brand or a business, you have to think about it as part of a funnel almost, where you have your short form content like Instagram or Snapchat or Musical.ly or whatever platform you happen to be using, and you bring people in with like punchier, more exciting content through that, and then you funnel them down into the more long form content like podcasts, which is what I have on Wednesdays, and then you do uh, something like this, which I'm kind of using as a filler for the end of the week. Because, I don't know, I just felt like there was nothing really going on at the end of the week. There was just this big gap between Wednesday 
and Monday. So I thought, why not fill that with at least one, one vlog, at least, to kind of show the actual environment that I live in. And as you can see, I'm creating this with, the, with a very specific intention of actually making it instructional. Because I don't want to just do, hey, look, this is me walking around with a camera. Because that really, unless someone is super invested in you, Vlogging is probably the longest, longest approach to actually creating a personal brand because no one cares. And I learned this the hard way, doing what I was doing with my primal being, doing what I was doing with everything else. And the most successful thing that I've ever done on YouTube was actually, hold on a second. All right, cool. I had to adjust the, uh, the ND filter. So the most successful thing I ever did on YouTube was Mobility Moment, which was all instructional. And I've come to realize that, I guess that you could say the format of something successful on YouTube is that it's instructional because you gotta remember, YouTube is like the second most popular search engine next to Google. That's where most people go to look for things on how to do stuff. That's why the channel How To Basic, if you ever look it up, is phenomenal because it totally hacks that whole thing and trolls everybody because if you ever look up How To Basic, there's nothing instructional about it. I'll give you, stop here, go check out How To Basic, and you'll see what I mean. Okay, welcome back. You see what I mean? Like, none of that is instructional. Um, it's just silly. And it totally messes, I guess you could say, with the YouTube algorithm or the way that that's all structured. So, do vlogs as a way of bringing people into your environment gauging the amount of investment and engagement that your fans and followers have into you. And then over time, as you come to see that there's more and more people invested in your brand and who you are, then you can leverage that into something in the e-commerce space, like um, getting sponsorship, selling products, or maybe even creating an e-product, which is kind of part of the intention that I have because I like teaching and educating, and I've, I like using it and presenting it through videos. So that's what I'll be trying to do more often. Anyway, that's that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed this little trip to Beer Can Island. Um, I thought it would be a little bit tricky because of the waves and everything else that's going on right now, but it turned out pretty decent. I hope you liked it. And if you happen to like it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up or a like, depending on where you happen to be. Um, go ahead and comment down below if you thought that this was cool, if you thought that the environment was cool, if you want me to do more of this stuff. Um, and I'll be releasing this at least once a week on Friday or Saturday, and I'll just have it and I'll make sure that the intention is always that it's an educational thing as well as the entertaining part of being out here in the environment of Florida. Anyways, my name is Mark with Echelon Media, helping you elevate your story. I'll see you next time. Bye.